Hey, hey, friends, what's up? How's it going? Uh, <coughs> man. Okay, right on. So, uh, my voice is fucked up. I just came from the gym, and karaoke singing is a passion, and I love it. Music is such a crazy thing. You see, like, the power of words and music to stimulate your soul and your heart a little bit, right? And I think there's a level of growth, I think, that takes place as you listen more and connect with lyrics. Maybe that's just me. Um, I love it. Uh, so, hey, what's up? Now, I just want to talk quickly about game pickup and dating. Uh, something the most, that many people suffer from and struggle with would be just approach anxiety. And so, I haven't really covered that at all. Um, uh, it's a fun thing, uh, or, or not so fun, depending on, like, your state or your premise, really, your reason for coming up. And that's the struggle that guys have is why... Why do you have a reason to approach? Like, um, why are you in the venue? Why are you there? You know, so so that's the thing. So uh, if you can come up with a good premise in the first place, um, because you're passionate about something and you're doing things you love, that's easy. So karaoke is amazing for me. I love to sing. It's I'm not great at it, but working on it. I, I, I think like to think I'm a rock star, even though I can't play guitar very well. <laughs> Work in progress, as all, as all things. Uh, but so that premise makes... And solves a lot of that, right? Uh, you love to sing, and especially if you get better and better, then wow, you start to open sets immediately. People that love to sing and are there with you, well, suddenly you have karaoke friends, and that friend circle that, that you have grows because there's many, many attractive girls that love to sing. What a shock. People like music. So do beautiful women. Um, beyond that, look at something else. If you can paint, if you're an artist, uh, I've got friends who are very into that. I'm not a good... Uh, painter myself uh, or sculptor whatever I do, I do construction but um, if you're into that galleries paintings and and you know working on that kind of stuff and going to venues there wow you suddenly got a reason to open you love this thing this is something you're passionate about so you see see a painting you want to talk about it some girls looking at it you just like hey wow that looks beautiful you know the, the that stroke uh, style reminds me of, you know Van Gogh and the short brief like tight strokes and the way this comes together, it just kind of reminds me of that field of uh, of sunflowers that he did, or you talk about the the starry starry night or some shit, you know. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not really an artist, but so maybe you could tell. But uh, yeah, you could connect on that kind of shit, and then just it's relevant, it's easy statement like, oh, this looks like that. What do you think, you know? Uh, and just kind of talk about it, banter, maybe make some man to woman premise, but like, wow, you know, you have a cool look. You're pretty cute, actually. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Oh, what's your name? Uh, something like that, or it's nice to meet you. I'm James. Uh, something like that. I, I would usually say, what's your name? Ask, you know, like, hey, it's nice to meet you. What's your name? Usually, uh, if the girl likes you at all, and you've had some banter, maybe you made her laugh, whatever, you know, uh, then, yeah, she'll give you her name, and she'll probably ask yours. Now, if she gives you her name or is hesitant to do that, well, she probably doesn't like you very much, bro. <laughs> so it's not going well, uh, you know, and, and people will do that. Be like, I don't give my name to strangers. The girls will tell you that. Why would a girl say that? It's because she's not interested. So you can read that stuff as you as you go. But focusing more again on approach and doing that when you've got that premise built in, easy, easy. Uh, so events are great for that. Uh, beyond another, uh, beyond that, so just at a bar, um, you know, shooting pool, karaoke, uh, playing darts. There's pool tournaments, pool halls, and different things there. Again, if you're talented at something, well, hey, it's a pool pool hall, like sweet you can bring a girl there or you can meet someone there and shoot pool with her if you beat her at it be like oh man you you're terrible at this hey but you could cook right like, <laughs> like just tell her something like that you know just crack a joke and smile uh and that'll that'll solve some of that problem for you uh and also because you're doing things you love when you're pursuing a skill set you maybe are good at well that's a value spike isn't it when you're good at something that's a cool thing, and oftentimes you'll have friends there too. You get to know people, and suddenly you're popular in the venue, in this area where you excel. Uh, so that solves some of it. There are other little tricks. Uh, the three second rule: you see someone and uh, you're attracted, or you have a have a hesitation. You have three seconds immediately. Just do it. It's a rule. Make it happen. Make it in your life. Just do the rule. That's basic. Uh, a lot of rules like that are just things you just got to just do it and, and, it, and it works uh, because you get better by practice, honestly. Um, another one, 
Um, and that keeps you out of your head. Another one that helps is uh, if, if you've got friends with you, you know, and that, that's solved a lot by the premise and having a reason to be at the venue, you know, a uh, reason to talk situationally. Um, and then this works in college too. You can you can open about classes or if you're, you know, on campus because you have stuff going on, you have you have reason. Uh, but, uh, da, 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 da. but yeah, if you've got friends with you, they will often push you if you've got good friends and they know that you're trying to grow as a person and you're trying to develop the skill set or or just because you're single like guys know you want to meet somebody like hey go talk to that girl or or like hey how's your night going bud and they'll like encourage you and bring you up a uh, really cool something i have is i've got a couple of friends like that are girls that actually uh will occasionally hit me up to go out and, and some of them i've dated and some of them you know hooked up with and some of them not and just it's a cool vibe and we've just got good friends and we just go to stuff together occasionally and, and then i can also bring a girl to an event with if they're coming with me or or they're bringing their boyfriend or friends and and just a friend's circle that circle of friends is a really good thing so not only do you have somewhere to go back to but that girl or that friend can push you and and be like hey talk to this person or yeah it's just a really cool dynamic um one other note last final moment uh, is when you do approach, when you do start opening people in a venue like this, like say a bar, karaoke night, something like that, uh, have a time have a time constraint, possibly, if you can. Um, but like, hey, I've got to go be here and see my friends in a second. It's false time constraint even. But like, hey, i got to go back and see my friends for a second. Uh, Mind if it's down though. We're like, hey, well, um, uh, you know, that song was really amazing. Like, you killed it, girl. Uh, or like, oh, no, I was just doing, you know, just talking about music, whatever. But then you, you make that time constraint, sit down, chat for a second, and then you can either, if it goes well, you can just hang out and your girl probably won't even remember or won't care that you had said that. Or uh, you can then just bounce and go see your friends and then come back. And then especially if karaoke is cool because you've got an excuse to go back if she's close to the DJ and it's close to the set a stage. Wow. Well, now you've got a reason to go back and you're going to sing and perform. And if you're killing it, girl's going to join you. She's going to back you up. You can do duets and stuff together. And then now you got to talk about music and what she likes and then what passions, what she sing about, what she sings about, and all kinds of stuff. So you can see the depth. Um, but the cool thing about what I just mentioned there is building value, leaving, coming back, down, up, down, up, down, building value spikes in this way. And that makes you look so much less needy and creepy than other dudes at the venue because you're just there with friends and having fun and you're living your life and you're not there to chase girls around and be a fucking creeper, right? That's not a cool vibe, man. Uh, it's just not like I get it. like meeting people is, is a thing. Everyone wants to love. Everyone wants love. Everyone wants connection and trust and develop like you that kind of personality. It's an important thing in life. I get it. I'm 100 percent with you um, if you're in that place where you're lonely. But I, I empathize and, and uh, or sympathize anyways. I understand. But you don't want to be the creeper dude. So so being able to have that false time constraint gives her a way to like if you do hang out, she doesn't have to think about oh, is this guy going to fucking stay here all night? Like, you've already said you were going to go, and then you can do that with your body language as well. But then also, if you would then just do go and come back, and then she might open you, right? That's a cool thing. Girls will, like, notice you in different points, and you can talk to them, and, and you build it up. And a girl will give you her number. She'll, like, seriously. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Like, don't, don't, if you're reading that the vibe is, is not perfect, don't be afraid to use your time constraint and then come back and value spike and crack some jokes. And I mean, you won't get every set. Not everyone's going to love you, right? Not everyone's going to like you and it always works. But the thing is you're having fun and you're building your up your life and you're having an amazing time by living your purpose, by doing things again in places that you want to be because this is a passion of yours, right? I assume that's why you would be there, not because you're a creep, but because you're pursuing something you love and that's a cool thing like um a couple other examples would be sports if you play basketball if you surf you rock climb like jujitsu like there are different things going on and that 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 girls may be at right so whatever it is if it's a passion you've got um you've got a good in to approach and connect much easier than trying to uh come up with some weird premise on the fly as to why you're even there um, and, and, and then once you have started to, uh, started the conversation, then you just have to make it man to woman, crack some jokes, make her smile and you're rolling. So I hope that helps shorter video, shorter ish, longish. Eh. Uh, yeah. Happy Turkey day. 
Hope you guys didn't overeat. I certainly did. I had to go for a run last night to feel better. But uh, rock on. Enjoy life. And I will talk to you soon. I'll get some more videos up. Have a good one, guys.